Okay, let's look at an introduction to data editing and selection process. I've gone out to the New York State uh, GIS Clearinghouse and here we have uh, the new streets and addresses. So I'm going to download the streets and addresses here. This is a shape file, so we'll, we'll pull that down and go back and to GIS data. Um, to look, search for some data here, search the organizations for boundaries. What I'd like to do is to get a uh, boundaries for the counties, the civil boundaries here, this is shoreline version. So I'm going to pull down the counties for New York State. There are uh, colleges and universities in New York. bring these down, get it's unlocked, and there we go. So we've got some data to work with, and I'm going to unzip these and put them into a new location, and put them into the uh, um, QGIS to the database, and a new, new directory called New York State, and unzip these, and you can see I've got a series for the colleges and a series for uh, the counties and, and so on. Um, we look at the size of these and list them by their size. You can see some of these files are, are uh, quite quite large. Here's a shape file that's uh, 168. So on. Okay, so what I'd like to do then is to, to uh, start up uh, QGIS and bring some of this stuff in. And uh, like bring in the counties. And so we've got the New York State counties. Color's a little harsh. I'm going to lighten that up just a little bit. better to look at, a little better contrast. Um, you can see the projection looks uh, somewhat different, uh, so we may want to identify what, what we're working with here. So uh, I look at its properties and uh, the general properties for that, and we're, we're in this uh, UTM Zone 18 uh, coordinate reference system. So theoretically then as I bring things in they should uh, line up to that. Um, so if we look at the project properties, we can do on the fly here to uh, bring things in uh, and we'll line up uh, as they go. I'm um, we'll bring the colleges in. So they're on there. And uh, now I'm going to bring in the, um, the roads for the Okay, now this is interesting as it takes a, a certain length of time. So I'm kind of going to time this. Um, you can see the program is kind of hanging out here. Okay, so that took about uh, about two minutes to, to pull in. And you can see that the, uh, the streets here in, in, uh, in pink are basically covering most of the uh, most of the most of the state. Uh, I'm going to drag the counties back up on top and then uh, even the re rendering here is taking quite a while to, to get things to, to be quicker. Okay, I finally got it to render. Now what I'd like to do is limit the number of roads and uh, we really are interested in uh, the Ithaca area again here, Tompkins County. So. Uh, I'd like to select by rectangle. So the idea here is I'm going to get a, an area that's somewhat larger than uh, Tompkins County and just select that. And I'm going to save these as a shape file. I'm going to browse out to my my uh, the area that I'm working and I'm going to call these uh, Tompkins area roads shape. Okay. Now um, can do now with those is I'm going to bring those in and 
Okay, so this is going to speed things up uh, dramatically because we're only uh, rendering a, a small section of the roads. But I don't want the roads that are outside of um, Tompkins County. So what I'd like to do is to select just those roads that are inside the county. And one of the things that we can do in this case is to, uh, we can go to the counties and select our county that we're interested in. So I'm going to select a single feature and I've selected just the county we're interested in. You can see and I have the roads that, that uh, exceed. Go to the vector spatial query. So this is selecting based on um, some spatial information. So the idea is here that we're going to select features um, from the roads and we're going to uh, reference those from the counties and you notice that it it says here selected geometry so it's going to only select the ones that that I've that I've identified uh, and where the feature crosses um, intersects uh, touches is within so I'm going to pick within just to see the effect here and uh, apply this activity and it, th these take a while and you want to reduce uh, the size of the data ahead of time otherwise this processing would take about um, two or three hours with uh, trying to do all the roads in New York State because it looks at each individual road and see how things uh, see how things relate okay so I've I've now got a uh, an outline here of the roads just within Tompkins County and you can see there's um, so I zoom in here to an area right on the boundary. Um, you can kind of get a feel that um, the the roads that intersected they had to be completely within. So we do have a little bit of a of a problem here where there's a little bit of, of area there. So there may have been a better uh, selection for the um, spatial query where the spatial query may have said uh, touches or something that may may work better so you can experiment with that. Uh, now if I go to the full extent uh, what I have is I still have New York State and I've got um, an outline here around the outside but um, and I've identified a number of counties by rectangle so I've I've reduced the number of counties to the Finger Lakes counties and uh, so we're getting our area of interest down and things uh, you know are moving around uh, quite a bit quicker so um, what I'd like to do now is to just get the, the um, colleges that were within a certain uh, area. So I'm going to go to Finger Lakes Counties, uh, select single features, uh, click on uh, Tompkins, uh, and a couple other counties. Now I'm doing this by holding the control key down, and that allows me to select a, a series of counties. So I'm going to get these three here and look for the colleges that are in there. Uh, do a vector uh, spatial query. Uh, spatial query it says select um, source features here from um, and, uh, up here we want colleges and here we want the uh, Finger Lakes counties and you see it's three select, uh, selected and we want the ones that are within and so you see the processing very very quick and we can uh, create a new selection here from that. Uh, okay, and close. Now, um, co college is here. Then uh, you see it's, it's added this to. Uh, oops, excuse me. It's added this directly on. And so when we get rid of the rest of the colleges, we just have those colleges that that are in our, our area of interest. So this is a way in which we can, you know, fairly quickly um, get ourselves down to look at a, at a smaller area that uh, will we'll, we'll run a little bit faster. Uh, we can select with a number of mechanisms here. We can select by uh, opening the attribute table, uh, selecting them individually down the side, holding the control key down, for example, and selecting uh, counties if we want it that way. We can select by uh, creating an expression uh, and select from that standpoint, add to the selection, and so on. So you can uh, select by one and then 
uh, one one setting and then and then do it again to select by another and, and just add those to the selection so selecting uh, topics are uh, kind of a big one then we can do it spatially oh, excuse me spatially we can do this by uh, coming up and selecting by rectangles and features so and by polygon um, so I'm going to clear the clear the features and then uh, you know, select by radius. I just uh, click and and we'll, uh, we'll you can see the size of the radius there, and it will select those features, clear those out. Okay, those all allow us to get to a point where we can then begin to edit uh, some of the data. So the idea is to reduce down to an area of interest, and then edit from that standpoint.